okay students so in today's class we will start with the numericals on power screws so before starting the numericals so let me just quickly revise the expressions which we are going to use and all these we have derived so apart from these there are some points which I will be telling so that is very very important we will just summarize what so far we have derived and these only we are going to use in the problems okay so for a square threaded screws in the beginning class we have derived first expression torque required to raise the load T equal to F dm by 2 tan of 5 plus alpha equation number and page number in data and book that is also we have seen right now second torque required to lower the load so this expression also we have seen F dm by 2 tan 5 minus alpha right equation 9.22 page number triple eleven and what is small f coefficient of friction is equal to tan phi respective data and book equation and tan alpha equal to l by pi dm so this also i have shown diagrammatically right now remember students these we have derived these two equations without considering color friction and later on we have considered color friction and this expression also we have proved torque required to raise the load considering color friction so t equal to f dm by 2 tan of 5 plus alpha plus f c d c by dm so this expression we have derived equation 9.19 page number triple eleven. so similarly torque to lower the load so you can also write in this fashion after that we have derived expression for efficiency of power screw so what is efficiency we have seen that in much detail manner so efficiency tan alpha upon tan phi plus alpha this we have derived equation 9.20 page number 311 right now students these all things we have derived that is for square threaded screws what if if the threads are other than square threads so in the previous class we have seen that if other than square threads are there then coefficient of friction f is replaced by f by cos theta equal to tan phi right how it is written and some proofs also we have seen depending on the angle how these things will change remember this any threads other than square threads f by cos theta equal to tan phi so up to here students we have seen and all these things you can find in data and book but in our hg puddle data and book apart from all these things something also required now here note number two the formula is to be remembered this these expressions are related to screw these are not there in this data and book okay so these students know these things this you have to remember for the screws if you know these things then rest all we can use and we can find out how to use this in data and book so that i will tell so this you have to make a note and also i have shared the uh, pdf notes of power screws theory part in that also i have mentioned this so you can refer in google classroom which is already been shared in the previous class so first is inner diameter in terms of outer diameter and pitch these are related to screws inner diameter of screw in terms of outer diameter of screw and pitch this expression dc is equal to di equal to d naught minus pitch dc is nothing but see here either dc or di core or inner diameter of screw okay so you can remember anyone core or inner diameter of screw dc is equal to inner diameter or core diameter which is equal to outer diameter minus pitch di equal to d naught minus pitch this you have to remember second is outer diameter in terms of mean diameter and pitch how i am writing d naught equal to dm plus pitch by 2 outer diameter equal to 
mean diameter plus pitch by 2. So these two are not there in data handbook students related to screws. So we have to remember these things. Based on this, we are going to solve the problems. So all the things will be used in solving the numericals. Okay. Inner diameter equal to outer diameter minus pitch. This is one thing. And outer diameter equal to mean diameter plus pitch by 2. Clear? So these are the expressions we have seen in the previous theory classes. So this we will use now in the problems. Okay? Remember other than square threads, if it is there, coefficient of friction is f by cos theta equal to tan phi okay so this you can refer in the previous class lecture so for different different thread profiles angle will vary so all everything has been shown okay so now we'll start with the problem number one on power screws Okay, students, uh, let me start with the very simple problem on a power screw. First problem. The statement reads like this. A double threaded power screw with isometric trapezoidal thread. So, thread profile is isometric trapezoidal thread. Is used to raise the load of 300 kN. The nominal diameter, nominal means outer diameter, the nominal diameter is 100 mm, the pitch is 12 mm, the coefficient of friction at the screw thread is 0 0.15, neglecting color friction. So there in the problem itself they are telling you neglect the color friction. Find torque required to raise the load. Second torque required to lower the load and third one efficiency. Okay. And read the problem once again. It is a double threaded power screw. Double threaded means it is double start. Double start condition means lead equal to two times pitch. Okay. So I think that also seen in the previously. So let us start with the solution now. We will write the given data. So what is the given data? What is the thread profile? Thread profile. So ISO metric trapezoidal thread, right? So for that, what is the what is the use of this profile? It is what is this angle two theta for this? It is thirty degrees. So I think uh, this we have seen in theory class is thirty degrees, right? Now it is not a square thread, right? So we know how to use this. So where we'll use that also we'll see. So before that uh, we'll write the remaining data. So double thread. Double thread means it is uh, means double start. Double start, right? So L is equal to two times pitch. So this we know. Single start L is equal to P. Double means L is equal to two P. So here it is L is equal to two P because double threaded. Now, what is the load to be lifted? F equal to 300 to 10 rest to 3 Newton. That is also given. Nominal diameter that is D not outer diameter is equal to 100 mm. That is also been given. Pitch is equal to 12 mm. So that is also known. Coefficient of friction small f is equal to 0 0.15 right now what is theta theta is 15 degrees how we know the thread profile isometric trapezoidal and for that thread profile we know angle 2 theta 
is equal to 30 degree from the theory part we have seen that diagrammatically therefore theta is equal to 15 degree 30 by 2 okay so this is the given data right now just now we have seen that note right relation between inner diameter of screw and outer diameter and pitch so for now for nominal diameter d naught is equal to 100 mm what is di yes students what is di so di is nothing but it is also denoted by dc c means core so outer diameter minus pitch so 100 minus 12 which is equal to 88 mm okay now what else we require mean diameter mean diameter is d naught plus di by 2 so 100 plus 88 by 2 so 188 by 2 it is 94 mm so this is the now data so with this data we'll can we can easily proceed with the problem now okay so write down the data so what is the first thing they are asking torque required to raise the load so without uh, considering color friction what is that expression torque required to raise the load so f into dm by 2 tan of 5 plus alpha so this we have derived and also in data and book 9.18a page number 11 it is there and i have shown also okay so one by one we'll try to solve now how to find this phi what is this coefficient of this is friction angle so what is the relation between this and coefficient of friction now here it is not a square thread it is isometric trapezoidal so other than square thread so what is that relation f by cos theta which is nothing but coefficient of friction is equal to tan of phi right so here so f is 0 0.15 cos theta cos of 15 which is equal to tan of phi so phi is equal to tan inverse of this so what is the phi value will you be getting now phi is equal to tan inverse of this part so calculate tan inverse of this will be around 8.82 degrees so this is your friction angle okay so one part we have got now correct this part is over now how to get this alpha so this also we know tan alpha is equal to what is that relation L upon pi dm right so alpha is equal to tan inverse of this part so L is known to you 2 times pitch so 2 times pitch means pitch is 12 divided by pi into what students into so let me so alpha is equal to so 2 into 12 divided by pi into dm mean diameter 94 correct so alpha is equal to now what alpha is equal to tan inverse of these values so how much you will be getting calculate so alpha comes to be 4.64 degrees 
this is your helix angle of a, that thread now so here phi also known alpha also known f is given in the quotient and mean diameter you know so simply substitute in this expression so we will be getting a torque value okay so now so let me just uh, remove this uh, given data so that we can continue here So we'll be continuing here. So T equal to what is the F given load? So F is 300 to 10 raised to 3. So mean diameter DM is 94 divided by 2 tan of 5 is 8.82 plus 4.64. Right? So this comes to be 3.374 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm. So students, this is the torque required to lift the load or raise the load in a power screw without considering a collar friction. So first part is over now. Okay. First part is over. So this is the first case. Now second case, torque required to lower the load. So what is the change? T equal to F dm by 2 tan of phi minus alpha. So this also we have data. So it's the same thing. 300 into 10 raised to 3 to 94 by 2 tan of 8.82 minus 4.64 so if you solve that so torque required to lower the load so you will be getting 1.03 to 10 raised to 6 newton mm this is now torque required to lower the load ok with neglecting call friction very simple thing if you find flex angle in phi it is very very simple why it is f by cos theta it is other than square thread this is now your coefficient of friction and theta in this I think that inclined plane we have seen in the theory class from that we have wrote that in that expression so it's the same thing it is also there in that angle tan alpha equal to L by pi d clear so only remaining thing is now the third part that is efficiency so that also we will see now now here efficiency also neglecting color friction ok so efficiency efficiency is this also we have derived tan alpha tan of phi plus alpha into 100 equation 9.20 page number triple lemon we have derived this in earlier class so very very simple efficiency so tan of alpha is 4.64 divided by tan of 8.82 plus 4.64 multiplied by 100 comes to be 33.91% so this is the efficiency of a power screw and without neglect that is neglecting color friction this is the efficiency of a power screw ok so if they ask in some problem include the color friction so what changes you have to make in the efficiency that I will tell in the coming classes. So this is the solution for the first problem students. Very very simple. Based on whatever expressions we have derived in the earlier class. Same steps we are following and we are getting the solution for the problem. Torque required to raise the load expression. 
so that we used so this is the answer torque required to lower the load this is the expression and this is the answer efficiency this we have derived so this is the final answer neglecting color friction so this is the solution okay so observe the question read the question carefully double threaded means double start so lead is equal to two times pitch so that is the important point from this line and thread profile is iso matrix trapezoidal thread so it is not a square thread 